Hi, this is DTA. Today we're working on a 2002 Yamaha XJR 1300. A model that has a carburetor. Here we have to proceed somewhat differently in order to check the engine compression. Using the ampere meter pliers, which are available from Hella Gutmann, we're going to work on a Mega Max 56 to which we'll connect the pliers. That way we can check the power usage of the starter motor in the individual compression strokes. Then we activate the starter motor, uh, we see that it, it engages each individual cylinder. Uh, they now rise and push on the starter motor so that we have a maximum output on the oscilloscope on the Mega Max 56. So we can check the condition of the engine without having to dismantle it. Uh, this will save us time. We can give the customer a rough cost estimate and he can take his bike away with him because nothing has been removed. Then he can initially save on repair costs or think about what he wants to do. Let me show you how. It's important that the engine isn't able to start. That's why I'm removing all the plug connectors from all four cylinders. The battery is attached to the charger so that it'll have enough power. Now we can access the measure function. In measure mode, we select power. To measure the strength of the current, we're going to use a pair of amperometer pliers, which are available from Hella Gutmann. Let's connect them to the Mega Max 56 and select Measure Current. The pliers are now calibrating. I'll just select the bandwidth. Then I'll attach the pliers to the minus terminal of the battery. I'm attaching it as close as possible to the battery. Obviously, we have uh, our four cylinders that are providing power, so we have here these level outputs. I'm attaching it as close as possible to the battery. I'll now allow the starter motor to work. So, when we activate the starter motor, we have two maximum outputs. Obviously, that is the load of the motor starter, which is caused by its high power use. But after that, you can see that each output corresponds to an engine compression. So, that has an effect on the power consumption of the starter motor, which the ampere meter measures and is indicated in these outputs. This is how we can judge the condition of the engine compression without having to take it apart. Obviously, this saves us time. The equipment gives us an initial indication of whether, for example, a cylinder is faulty. Then you can combine this with other tests, such as temperature measurements or smoke tests, for leak detection. Now we're going to simulate a cylinder fault. Uh, I'm now going to take out the spark plugs from the fourth cylinder. Because we've taken out the spark plugs, the cylinder has no compression. So the power usage of the starter motor on the compression stroke of the fourth cylinder is different. So, let's test it. Aha, uh -huh, you see, look at that. Mm -hmm. Now we see here is three outputs for the three cylinders that are functioning normally and a level that is much less, uh, which is the fourth cylinder. So we can see which cylinder is affected. So this technology is really fast, it's simple and easy and it saves you time. Though this example is a simulation that demonstrates that to see whether there is compression loss in a cylinder, you can also use current measurement, thereby saving time and money. 
Et du coup, comme il peut partir avec sa moto, il va quand même s'en servir. Il va pouvoir économiser pour qu'on puisse faire la réparation. So, that's all for Allez, now. Continue, hein. à plus tard.